Welcome back. We have made it now into round three of Matcha Madness. This will be the first battle of round three, or battle 25 overall if you're keeping track. This will be exciting. Most of the cream has started to rise to the top, as they say. So these should be very exciting battles with some really tough competition. This is a brewing round, uh, as mentioned back in the very first battle. Rounds one, three, and then the final, of course, will be brewing. So you get to see me brew up the matcha again in that fun little high-speed montage. And uh, I guess let's just get to it then. See you in a minute. Just like that, the brewing is complete. I believe I forgot to mention who is actually in this battle today. So, today we are pitting Macha Akatsuki from the Tea Crate up against Blend 99 from Breakaway Matcha. You can see in the glass already that the Akatsuki is a little, a little bit more vibrant green than the Blend 99. Although both, both the actual liquor looks quite vibrant, but the crema on the Akatsuki has a bit more vivid greenness, whereas there's some of the kind of browner notes starting to show up in the Blend 99. Let's give them a smell. I'd say like early young spinach and just a little bit of general green chlorophyll-ness. For the Blend 99, something deeper, uh, darker, more towards like a regular spinach. Not necessarily baby spinach, a little bit more verve. It's like hit it more towards the woodsy notes. Both smell very clean, very fresh, a bit sweet. Give them a taste. Yakutsuki, cheers. A little bit of that cereal note. I think I mentioned that the first time. There's kind of that itch you just a little bit at the beginning with some little cerealness. Kind of like a barley or something like that. Kind of a kind of a toasted cereally warm note that moves into young, fresh green peas. I'm continually impressed with the matcha Akatsuki. That's extraordinarily good. Blend 99, a bit more traditional matcha flavors, I would say. Uh, a bit more of that green hit. The slightest hit of astringency. Just a little bit, but no no real discernible bitterness. Yeah, both very good, and I would say the Blend 99 probably leans more towards your traditional matcha flavors in general. A bit more of the green umami um, vegetable hit, whereas there's something a little bit softer and sweeter about the Akatsuki that I'm just really drawn to. And with that, we have our first winner in round three. Akatsuki will be moving into round four, our semifinals. Very exciting for Akatsuki. And with that, our bracket now looks like this. And now I can tell you about Blend 99 from Breakaway Matcha. 30 gram container comes in at $89. That brings us into a price per gram of about $2.97. Season cultivar, we do not know. Origin comes from Ogura in Uji. And then the description from the website, from a young producer in Ogura, Uji, who's not afraid to relentlessly experiment in pursuit of the most umami-packed, clean, nutritious, shockingly beautiful matcha on the planet. All sweetness and light with zero bitterness. A truly dreamy matcha that never fails to delight even the most jaded palate. Yeah, and I mean, it is exceptional, but uh, at this level in the competition, exceptional just isn't enough to cut it. And I will see you here tomorrow for another round three knockout. See you then.